83. And that said, our birthday wishes, how sweet, how nice, how, on beautiful blueberries. Mm. Here's Matt in New York. All right, Willer, thanks very much. Every week here on Today, Leonard's Look gives our Mike Leonard a chance to examine a little piece of Americana. This morning, it's about what you have left after a meal of fast food. In a word, it's about grease and an unusual new way of putting it to use. Driven by the need for grease, they cruise strip mall America, hungry for yet another fast food fix. Because they can't go anywhere without this stuff, Kaya Tekel and her husband Joshua are constantly trying to tap into new wellsprings for their greasy habit. We just suck it right up. Literally. Josh, it's ready to soak up! What can you say about a young Florida couple who can't stand the thought of all that used fryer grease going into the nation's dumpsters when instead... Could be powering our vehicles. It will be. It is. <laughs> Just when you thought America's alternative energy initiative was going down the greasy chute, up pops the Tekels, promoting this weird idea of pouring used fryer grease down the fuel chutes of diesel engines. Don't tell me it works. Yeah, it runs great. This car gets 50 miles to the gallon. That's right. We're taking used grease and turning it into clean fuel. A bizarre but very workable concept that has turned them into environmental missionaries who are touring the country this summer to promote this appetizing alternative. We're getting grease from fast food restaurants, processing it into our machine into a clean burning fuel called biodiesel. It's really quite simple, say these recent graduates of Sarasota's new college. Discarded fryer grease, which looks like this after it solidifies, is first run through a filter to separate any remaining french fry bits, onion ring parts, or donut residue. After a catalyst is added, the goo is mixed, heated, then separated. The process is called transesterification. And surprisingly, it is not new. No, Rudolf Diesel, he's the inventor of the diesel engine, designed the original diesel engine to run on peanut oil over 100 years ago. Back in those days, however, petroleum was so abundant and so cheap that it, not vegetable oil, became the fuel of choice. Ah, but the world has changed since then. There's a fast food joint on every block. Clogging every artery with cars, trucks, and vans, spewing pollutants from a now finite supply of fossil fuel. Which brings us back to that search for alternative energy sources. Now we have something that, that could potentially fill that void. Grease? Grease. Oceans of grease. It's shocking. There's so much of it. The U.S. produces 600 million tons of fryer oil every year. Think of the synergy. A nation's craving for fast food and fast cars all boils down to a flowered van that smells like a french fry. I'd much rather smell, uh, you know, donuts or french fries or popcorn than, like, carbon and soot. How about fish? A real staple of their van's diet, now that Long John Silver's has given the Tekels permission to fuel up at any of their restaurants. And to see something that, you know, that we discard being used in this purpose is just tremendous. Isn't that something? Just out of college and already living off the fat of the land. For today, Mike Leonard, NBC News, Sarasota. And Gene Shallot is in the Critics' Corner with Contact when we come back. But first...